And I, I would class myself as, as a moderate and you know, neither Republican nor, nor Democrat. Um, and in fact, uh, I have voted, voted overwhelmingly for Democrats uh, historically, overwhelmingly. Like, I, I'm not sure I might never have voted for a Republican, just to be clear. Right. Um, now, now, this election, I will. <laughs> <laughs> the Democrat Party is overly, overly controlled by the unions and by the uh, trial lawyers, particularly the class action uh, lawyers. Um, and generally, if, you, if you'll see something that, doesn't, that is not in the interest of the, of the people, um, it's, it, on, the, on the Democrat side, it's going to come because of the unions, uh, which is just another form of monopoly, and the, uh, the trial lawyers. Uh, uh, that th that's where actions will be happening from the Democrat side. They're not in, in the interest of the people. And then, um, to be fair, on the Republican side, uh, there's, there's, if you say like where, where there's something like not not ideal happening, it's because of corporate evil um, and uh, re religious zealotry. Um, but that's generally where the bad things will be coming from on the Republican side um, that are not representative of the people. So. Um, in, in the case of Biden, he is simply too too much uh, captured by the unions, um, which, which was not the case with Obama. Um, so, in the case of Obama, you could have you know he was sort of quite reasonable, um, and I think he took more of a view uh, that you know obviously you need to take the concerns of the unions into account, but uh, there, there, are big, there are bigger issues at stake, and, and unfortunately, Biden does not do that.